we are back guys. What's up? How are you guys today? It's New Crescious or Link XGL. And we're gonna add in our armor so it doesn't look so ugly. So let's do it. So I have let's make a new package here for our models. Alright. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. New. Class. Oh, what am I doing? Now we're just gonna drag in that custom armor we made. Put this here. Right, drop that in there. Boom. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at all these errors. Okay, so we're gonna fix this all up. First of all, you have to change this package. This package is not the package we're in. So let's do that. Uh, we're in net dot lucretius dot uh, models. There we go. This is where we are. Delete all this. We don't need all that. Just extra space. Then we're gonna go here. Instead of model base, remember model biped. Okay, right here we're gonna change this to the name of our class. So it's gonna be model custom armor. Right, the same name we gave it when we saved it. We can refactor as you want. It's up to you. I don't care. I like to keep it like, wait, like this. Model custom armor. Boom. All right. So now we're gonna press Shift, Control Shift O. Um, pick net minecraft the entity and there we go no more errors yay except for one down here so this is useless we don't need this delete this right um this um render state is also useless um basically we don't need it and i'll explain that in a second but you'll notice that we're getting an error here and to fix that we're gonna take this entity here and we're gonna add it here because this method has changed and now we don't have any errors so the first thing we want to do is since we're extending model biped the head body right arm left arm right leg left leg they already exist okay so delete all this we don't need to um, make a new model for them because they're already in model biped right we're extending from it and this this is the armor we're using this is already made so we don't need it so we're gonna delete it off everything so all this stuff useless and we're just gonna make this a little tiny bit easier to look at just by separating like so all right notice that this is all getting errors delete this all right so we have to do a few things to fix this up now this here texture width texture height this is what we need to change but if we were to run this right now it wouldn't change and this is because just setting it um just changing the local this dot texture width won't work we actually have to go into the super and tell it yo we need to change this vector i mean the <laughs> vector uh, we need to change this uh this texture size so we're gonna go here and we're gonna add a we're gonna add here a super and this is what's gonna um call uh this what's gonna change the the size of our stuff right and this what's also gonna change the um the pixel size the the uh, texture size all right so we're gonna go here and we're gonna add a new float we're gonna just call it this is gonna be the scale size we're gonna call it something a little bit more descriptive expand and here the first thing we put in is expand add a zero I don't know what the zero is for but you just put it there and 64 by 64 is the X height the width and the height you can you can look at the biped model to see what this is I, I haven't need I haven't I haven't used this I don't see many other people use it so I don't think it's that useful all right and now we have to fix up a few things first of all these rotation points we don't need them anymore make these zero the reason for this is because we're gonna make these right shoulder and this left shoulder a child of the right arm and left arm and once the right arm and left the right the right shoulder and the left shoulder um become childs of the right arm and the left arm their rotation point is cop the the right shoulders rotation point is copied to the right arm rotation point so we don't need this this was only specifically just to see 
because we needed the rotation point in TechNet to see how it would be rotated in here, but we now we don't need it, so we can just take it off. Um, we could we also took it off here, and now what we're gonna do is what I said just now is we need to add these as childs to stuff. So we could do one of two things. I like to do it this one way. We um, we're gonna set the horn. Sorry, we're gonna base horn here is going to be the parent of um, horn 1. I like doing it this way because the base horn is basically what is the horn 1 is attached to the base horn and the base horn is what attached to the head. You could do it just the base horn is attached to the head and the horn 1 is attached to the head. Right? Because like it's true but I like to do it this way. Um, you can also we also need to make sure to get this dot the head so here it is remember that we're we already have the biped um the model biped i'm going to add a, a child if you don't already know what a child means basically a child copies the the um local position and the um rotation of its parent the parent is basically what controls the child that's it that's the language that um, that's the programming language for it so when we make the when we add the child the the base horn t as the the biped well now this base horn is controlled by biped right and base horn has a child itself it has horn one as its child so horn one is controlled by base horn and base horns controlled by biped head so they're all controlled by biped head ultimately and biped head is controlled by all well, the programming does that make sense I hope it does so now we're going to take this dot the right arm dot add child and we're going to make it the right shoulder now remember if you have more stuff feel free to do this now add it in however you want make sure it goes into the correct place make sure you have your right arm and this is the reason why we named our stuff right because we didn't want we don't want it to mess up I mean, we don't. We want to. We want to make it easy um, to see which is supposed to go where. If this is like shape one, shape three, shape four, you know, how will we know where it's supposed to be parented to? Okay. Another problem that we have is this: the render. Rendering this stuff is useless. Why? Because the biped head and the biped arms are already rendered by. The, by Minecraft itself. When something is rendered, all its childs are also rendered. So we don't need to call this. We don't need to call the render on each of these individual things. We can delete that. In fact, we can just delete all this if we wanted to, but there's no point. We'll just leave it there. And now we are done with this. Now, what I'm talking about, um, remember that I said that you can't have um, two rotations in two directions. Well, what I meant by that is this here, the set rotation is a little bit too simple um, for two directional rotation. From w This is just from my experience. If anybody else has done it, please feel free to explain in the comments or on the thread that I'm posting this on because I've had lots of trouble with um, two directional rotation. It's never how I want it. So I just keep it at um, one directional ro one direction rotation. And, it's, and I've done tons of models with it. Um, well, not tons. I have done like five, but they've all looked nice, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, now we're done with this custom armor class. Well, now we need to tell Minecraft where is this armor class, right? Like, wh what armor am I supposed to use, right? So let's do that. Um, actually, I'll keep this for the next video. If this is gone long enough. Next time we will add the will allow we'll, we'll be able to see the armor in the game. Next time we're gonna finish this up, and then the video after that we're gonna polish it. We're gonna just polish stuff because there are gonna be a few glitches next time. Okay, so next time we're gonna just put in the armor, make sure that Minecraft knows where it is, and that's it. Cool. Yeah. All right. See you next time, guys.